So this is Brian again with uh, my pallet garden project and I'm uh, focusing on the watering system or the water cycling system today. So down in this water there are um, water fleas. So technically I, I could actually say it's aquaponics. Not that I'm eating the water fleas or anything. Anyway, the water is coming up at about this speed and the air that runs it comes from this little um, valve here. So I've got this uh, irrigation, standard irrigation tubing and I got uh, $27 paid for 250 feet of it. So that's enough for my entire garden. And um, anyway, this is the rhubarb one and I had other plants in too which um, these are a spinach type thing called uh, Good King Henry so they're being crowded out but you live and learn so I'm going over to the other one here so this one I just got started with see it's got a big tree above it so it's never going to do that well in winter but um, we're coming into potentially the dry season now and the tree is going to protect it from um, extreme heat I hope so here we go on this one and I'd just like to show you how it works so I'm going to take off see it comes up to here and that goes down to my shed down there where the pump is uh, situated so here we go I'm just going to take it off and show you how I did it so we've got the, the tubing and I found that uh, a certain size tubing fits into the connectors and you've just got to go to your hardware store and find what works these are the airline tubes so the airline tube the blue airline tube works directly with this as does the white so it fits nicely snugly in so I'm just going to pull this off I'm going to move this away and I'm just going to lift it up and show you how I did it so um, you've got to cut your pipe first for the length that you want um, the rubber bands are really handy for holding things in place and I'm just going to lift this up here so it's just wire attached and the wire keeps when you put it down in the bucket so what I did was I did it in a separate bucket I didn't like all the other ones I just said oh got to do this got to do this and and uh, did it in place but you get all your tube lengths wrong with this you just do it in the bucket itself uh, an empty bucket and cut your tubes uh, this tube is is done on on the site more or less but you do this in a bucket so you um, and this you find a size in your hardware store that works as a join and then you cut the little hole in it at home to fit in the airlift pipe and see I have uh, rubber tubing on or I've got uh, rubber bands on to hold the pipe in place here again so then and that works really really good oh this is something you have to have you have to have a constriction on the end and this slows down uh, Previously on the airlift pumps, before I did that, the water used to have serious backflow. Now I don't think, I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Oh, maybe I can. See there's a little bubbling. There's a little loss of air here on the valve. But see how quickly it starts up? And this is one of six. So I've got six of these things going at the same time. And they are working from just one side see now we're going now we're going fast like this is way too much water for it. so this is working from one side of uh, uh, just one side of a um, uh, a little aquarium bubbler and it's only a four and a half watt aquarium bubbler so four and a half watts is doing six pallet gardens so um, or sorry one side of four and a half watts so it's, um, technically two and a half watts is doing six pallet gardens anyway I'm going to stop ahead that and um, I hope this helps you make your own so there's the cheapest pipe 
the joiner. I don't know if this is the best type, but uh, that's the one I had. And uh, plastic uh, rubber bands and the wire. And this is pretty much all you need apart from your pump. And there's so many breeds of pump that uh, I won't go into that. Thanks. Bye.